Julie, what are you doing? Mrs. Eva, I'm just cleaning up. Julie, you've been living with me and Ivy for 10 years, right? That's right, Mrs. Eva. Your family is my benefactor. I am Ivy's elementary school classmate. My parents died in an accident. You brought me home. Julie, I always consider you a family member. It's a positive sign that you and Ivy completed university. Yes, Mrs. Eva. Ivy is on her way home from work. I will prepare dinner. Yes, Mrs. Eva. Hi, Julie. Hi, Ivy. How are you doing today? My job at the convenience store is okay. And you? I'm still waiting for the job. Julie, you can temporarily work for a job like me. The economy is difficult. It is not easy to find a job in large corporations. Ivy, you are so simple-minded. Do you want on working at that store for the rest of your life? But as long as we have money. It's been one month. What have you been waiting for? I'm not like you. You only graduated with mediocre score. That's why you can't find a job. You have to work at a convenience store. I graduated with excellent grade. I must find a job at a good corporation. Julie, you should look at reality. I just want to advise you. I get it. But I'm not like you. I'm tired of being in this poor place. What do you say? Take a look outside. Many people are rich. They have a prosperous life. What about us? We have been in this poor house for the past 10 years. Why is life so unfair? Episode 1, Two Girls from a Poor Family Julie why do you say that? Mrs. Eva. Mom. It's thanks to this poor house that you survived. Then you graduated from university. I am grateful to you. But the truth is I'm so tired of being poor. I don't want to have dinner. I'm out here. Julie, wait. Mom, why is Julie like that? Ivy, Julie has always been like that. Even though she lives with us, she always wants to escape this poverty. I'm sorry, Ivy. Julie is right. If our family life was rich, you wouldn't have to struggle. When you were in high school, you had to work part-time. You worked at a fast food restaurant. Same with Julie. But Julie got bored easily. She was out of work for a month. And you tried your work. You then shared your salary with her. Mom, please don't blame Julie. 
She just wanted to focus on studying. She has always been an excellent student. As for me, I'm just a normal student. Therefore, she always has pride. Don't talk about Julie anymore. Let's have dinner. Mom, please leave some food for Julie. Ivy, you live too honestly. Isn't that what you taught me? Do good deeds, speak kind words, and have nice hearts. But sometimes, the life outside is cruel. You can't be that honest. Mom, I believe that. When I live honestly, God will help me overcome difficulties. Ivy is always like that. She always thinks naively. That's why her family is so poor. Her mother helped me. But I'm not a member of her family. When I have money, I will pay them back. After graduating from university, this is an opportunity for me to change my life. I can't live with them forever. Ivy, even though you're my best friend, you're too naive. I wonder how you can survive when this society is full of lies. Hello, Wilson. Meeting at the same place? Okay. Wilson, I miss you. I miss you too. Wilson, I want to buy that thing. The price is $3,000. Julie, I will buy it for you. Really? We will go buy now. Wilson. Maria. Why are you with this girl? You are married. I am your wife. Hey, why did you slap me? This slap is a warning to you. Don't date Wilson. He is my husband. Wilson, are you still standing there? Quickly come home with me. Julie, I'm sorry. Why did you slap me? This slap is to warn you. Don't slap me anymore. Wilson dated me because you are a bad woman. Please keep your husband forever. Foolish woman. Hey, stop. Why do you dare talk to me like that? Julie, you returned home. Ivy, didn't you sleep? I'm waiting for you. I'm sorry for what the afternoon was like. You're right. You aren't the same as me. You can't work as convenience store. Ivy, it's good that you understand. Don't worry. When I have money, I will help you. Thank you. Julie, why is your face so red? It looks like someone slapped you. I dated Wilson. Then his wife appeared. What? It turns out Wilson is a married man? That's right. 
It's unlucky, isn't it? His wife slapped me. Julie, don't date that person anymore. He doesn't deserve you. That's right. He's just a stupid guy with some money. Ivy. I want to date a rich person. At that time, I will have money and status. No one dares to slap me. Julie. Ivy. Do you think I'm too ambitious? It's late. You still go to work tomorrow. Go to sleep. Hello, Wilson? You again? I don't want to meet you anymore. What? Will you buy me a $3,000 diamond ring? It's okay. Where do you want to meet? Wilson, I miss you. Hi, Julie. You are Wilson's wife. Where's Wilson? Wilson never saw you again. I asked you to come out here. I want Edel things with you. What do you want? This is $3,000. Please leave Wilson forever. It's okay. $3,000 is nice. Julie, you are a real money lover. You will never be happy. You slapped me again? I want you to respect me. You stole my husband. Why should I respect you? Hey, Maria. What's wrong with you? Maria, wake up. Miss, did you make this woman unconscious? It's not my fault. It's her fault. Hello, Julie? Ivy, where are you? What's up? I was arrested and taken to the police station. What? Why is that? Please bail me out of here. Hurry up. Please. 